In this video, you will learn solving equations part 1, addition and subtraction. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. An algebra equation is just like a balance scale. An equation is just like a balance scale and here is why. In a balance scale, you have, if you have more weight towards one side than the other, then the balance scale will lean towards that side. But if you have the same number of weight in the both sides, then the balance scale will be equal and an equation is the same. To understand this, let's have a look at this diagram we have right here, which is 1 equals 2. So in an equation, we have side 1 and we also have side 2. And both of these sides must be equal. To make sure that both of these sides are equal, we need to do the same thing to both sides. So what do we mean by doing the same thing to both sides? Well, if we're going to subtract side 1 by 8, that means we also have to subtract side 2 by 8. Or if you're going to divide side 2 by 8, which means you also have to divide side 1 by 8 because you have to do the same thing to both sides. So what are you doing to one side? You have to do the same thing to both sides in order to keep the equation balanced. So a way of approaching equation is by rearrange until we have the symbols on one side and the numbers on the other side. To understand this better, let's have a look at this example, which is x plus 4 equals 13. So we need to make sure all of the symbols are on one side and all of the numbers are on the other. This means we need to make sure that this x is on its own. And to keep this x on its own, we need to get rid of this plus 4 we have right here. To get rid of this plus 4 or to undo this plus 4, what we have to do is minus 4 because x plus 4 minus 4 will leave you with just x. So remember that we need to do the same thing to both sides. Because we're subtracting one side by 4, which means we also have to subtract the other side by 4. So this means 13 minus 4 will be 9. So we're left with an answer of x equals 9. So a way of checking if your answer is right by substituting your answer. So right here we've got x equals 9. A good way is by substituting this 9 into the question for the x. So let's remove this x and let's put in 9. So now we have 9 plus 4 equals 13. And as we all know, 9 plus 4 equals 13 is true, which means x equal to 9 is our answer. So now let's have a look at another example. And the example we have right here is x minus 8 equals 9. So let's start by once again making sure that this x is on its own. To keep this x on its own, we know what we have to do, we need to get rid of this minus 8 or we need to undo this minus 8. To undo this minus 8, we all know that we have to add an 8 because x minus 8 plus 8 will leave you with just x. And remember, do the same thing to both sides. If you're going to add 8 to one side, you also have to add 8 to the other side. So 9 plus 8 will be 17. So this means our answer is x equals 17. So let's once again check if our answer is right by substituting 17 for the x. 17 minus 8 is obviously 9. So that means x equals 17 is the correct answer. So let's have a look at this example. And the example is 54 equals 8 plus x. In this example, as you guys could see, the x is on the other side. But other than that, let's try to do the same thing as we did in the previous examples. So we need to try to make sure that this x is on its own. But if you notice with this example, the x is actually being added to the 8. The 8 is not being added to the x, the x is being added to the 8. So in this case, we have to do something a bit different called the commutative property. And the commutative property is basically when you can swap the two numbers and the sum will still stay the same because 8 plus x and x plus 8 are the same. So now the question looks much more easier and we can solve this 
much more easily. So, we need to make sure that this x is on its own, so we need to get rid of plus 8, or to undo plus 8. To undo plus 8, we have to do minus 8, because x plus 8 minus 8 will be just x. And remember, do the same thing to both sides. So subtracting 8 on one side means you always have to subtract 8 on the other side. So 54 minus 8 will be 46. So right now we have 46 equals x. But we can write this also as x equals 46. So this means our answer to this question is x equals 46. So now, let's have a look at another example, which is 6 equals 15 minus x. And in this example, once again, we have to make sure this x is on its own. But if you notice with this example as well, the x is actually the one being subtracted from the 15. It's not the 15 being subtracted. So, you guys may think that we can use the commutative property as we did in the previous example. But the commutative property does not work with subtraction. And here is why. Because 15 minus x and x minus 15 are not the same sum. So therefore, we can't use this and we have to use a different method. So rather than trying to get rid of this 15 or trying to cancel this 15 out or to undo this 15 out, what if we try and add the x instead? So what about trying to undo this minus x? So to undo this minus x, we have to do plus x because 15 minus x plus x will leave you with just 15. And remember, we need to do the same thing to both sides. So we have to add an x to the other side as well. So 6 plus x will be 6 plus x. Now, we have 6 plus x equals 15. You guys may be thinking, now the question is pretty pointless, because even at this stage, it's the x that's being added. It's not the 6 being added. But if you remember with the previous example, we said something about the commutative property. And we know that commutative property works with addition, because even when you swap the x and the 6, is still the same sum. So now we're adding the 6 to the x. Now we have to undo the 6, and to undo the 6, we just have to do minus 6, because x minus 6, or x plus 6 minus 6, will leave you with x. We need to do the same thing on both sides. So we have to subtract the 15 also by minus 6. So we have to do 15 minus 6, and 15 minus 6 will be 9. So answer is x equals 9. Now to learn more on Level Plus Maps, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous topic, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.